When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you wanna go, the amount of pain involved, the amount of mental pain, of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. There's gonna be more times you do something that you don't wanna do than you are gonna wanna do. And that's your new norm. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't wanna live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multimillionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. When that alarm clock goes off, there's at least 50% of the time where you just, that soft little pillow is just caressing your head and you want to stay there. And it takes discipline to go, nope, I'm going to get up out of this bed and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder. I should make more calls. I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves and they what I call shit all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest mother ever at what you do, you could be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so f obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your f life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of f people. It is. But if you want to f go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you f do, you've arrived. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result and you start doing some things, then you're going to get a little belief. And then what's going to happen is you're going to believe. And then what's going to happen? You're going to go do a little bit more work and a little bit more work. The results are going to come more. More people are going to believe. Nobody can believes in you because you haven't done anything. That's the reality. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. I'm drowning. I'm miserable. I'm suffering. I'm broken. But I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind? It says he's not leaving. So we gotta expand, we gotta grow, we gotta figure this thing out. So then these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You're forcing your brain now to operate on a level it's not used to, but then it becomes used to it.